This is Sean Chalfin, and uh, I am requesting that uh, the Michigan State Police and Homeland Security and the FBI open an investigation on Akamai, uh, Expedia, Bob Zilek, Kayak, and Tom Parker, Click Trip Z, Ross Weber, their hacker, Chris Ishmael, could be Yuri Kruk. I've got his IP address. I've given it to you already. Starts with 85. His IP address is at a residence in Turkey. Uh, he, I believe, I have, I'm not as for certain as I am with the Turkey IP address, but I have multiple uh, locations in Australia, where I think that he has two different residences, Australia and in Turkey. Um, what I'm about to show you in these videos uh, is domain hijacking, uh, uh, particularly Lux.house. However, my domains have been backlinked and redirected to uh, multiple booking.com sites, multiple kayak sites, uh, and uh, kayak.viajes has been, in my opinion, reconfigured to point to kayak.es, which is their Spain operation. Uh, the, there are multiple examples of my domains being backlinked. Now, these people have hacked me 24 seven for the last possibly two years. I know they have been for over a year and a few months. It has been enormously disruptive. They have destroyed 69 websites. The last three that I have to take down, I'm taking down hotels.viajes, skin.shopping, and black scorpion.clothing. Scorpion the traffic has been completely stolen because they have hacked and change the DNS of those domains, even though they still show that they're sitting in my account, like Lux.house, Booking.com, as in my opinion, along with uh, Acme, has have overtaken the domain. Now, I'm asking for the FBI and Michigan State Police and Homeland Security to open an investigation in this incredible theft. I have given you enough probable cause. There's significant probable cause to get this open. These people are stealing from me and their Expedia has completely mirrored my site. Domain shadowed. They're caught. And by the way, I preface this whole message to the FBI with, I allege. I allege because I have discovered all the Akamai script that I need to present this case to law enforcement. And I'm asking you to help me. They're stealing and they're disrupting my life. They're in my clothing business. They're in my domain, but they're in everything. And Akamai has been getting everything because they're intercepting my computer. And I have proven it. I have shown you. It's time to get this going. People need to go to jail. Let's just type in in Google uh, red dot style. So not in the browser. You want me to do a Google search on red dot style? Yes. Red dot style in the Google box, not in the uh -huh. not in the URL. Right. So if you Google red dot style, you see my link right there, and it's for sale. It's the first one. 
Now, I, I do think that this company right underneath here, and I'm gonna, we're going to go back to that, but uh, I'm just showing you how red dot style shows up here. But I do think that this company right underneath, 6.de, has backlinked my domain, red dot style, in here underneath. But that's, that's the second thing I want to show you. So let's see. Let's type in another one up there and I because I'm going to make a point right here in a second. Uh, so just do cancer.insure, and that one should pull up, I hope. Look at that. It doesn't. Oh, there it is right there. Okay. It's got can cancer.insure. And so it is the first one underneath the ads, right there. Mm -hmm. So now I want, this is going to be the point I want to make right here. Type in lux.house. Lux.house. Lux.house? Yep, lux.house. Now, this is my domain. And this the first thing that pulls is not the domain. In fact, you can't even find it. So Lux.house, there's Airbnb, second one, Airbnb, and I think Airbnb and Booking.com are partners. Uh, you can't find Lux.house like you can my other domains. Now, this is just one example. Now, I, I want, please, by the way, Catherine, go to this website called uh, uh, linkminer.com l-i-n-k-m-i-n-e-r dot com linkminer.com and type in Lux House now by the way I am my traffic Everything I'm doing online is being intercepted by Akamai. I want you to know that. I believe that the, the Akamai, I allege, I've reported them to the FBI, the Homeland Security, Michigan State Police. I have multiple evidence and scripts that Akamai is effing with me. Now, now, just one other thing. Dot house, dot house, the GTLD is... The register is donuts. Okay. So have you done, have you, did you Google or not Google, but put in the search box there at link minor lux.house. And then do you see the IPV spider.com right there? Mm -hmm. Let's click on that. Now, mm -hmm. if you scroll down, the IP address that lux.house is associated with. And and, 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 and and Catherine, I am telling you right now, I'm showing you what I believe is a criminal event. And I, I want you to make sure that we are, are on the same page here. So scroll down to where it says actual info and click on DNS trace. And because there's an IP address attached to Lux.house and it's 7252. 491 DNS trace now DNS trace that and it flips you back to another page that has that trace and now at the bottom you see uh, several Akamai technology links and Aaron links all right but I want to go back up to who is this IP so go back to the front the top of that page where it shows my IP and then click that second line down where it says who is, click on who is. Uh -huh. Now, Prolexic is a product of Akamai's, or they bought Akamai, or Akamai bought Prolexic, okay? Now, when you do the who is on that IP address, there's Akamai. Now, Akamai, <clears throat> Akamai is, they're sending me to the, to their servers in Chicago at a at a GPS coordinate of 41 minus 87 which is north 444 North Michigan Avenue downtown Chicago where their server banks are but Akamai is based in Cambridge now you see that my domain lux.house 
is going right to Akamai. It should go to GoDaddy or Donuts. And it shouldn't do anything but that because I haven't pu published a website for Lux.House. Now, I want you to do one more thing and go to this website here. Take a screenshot of that or whatever. I've sent this to the FBI, by the way. I don't know if they're going to help me. I think because of the videos I put online regarding all this, I have stirred some things up. I'm surprised I'm not murdered, by the way, and I'm being serious with you. Um, so let's go to another website called... Um, don't lose that website, by the way. But let's go to another website called... i got to find it. Backlink Checker. Backlink Checker. Um, so we're going to do... Small SEO tools. If you do, if you Google backlink checker uh, and do small SEO tools, and when you get to small SEO tools, I, I please, by the way, put in HTTP HTTP colon forward slash lux dot house. Now, now we're gonna load. And see who's backlinking my domain, Lux.house. When you get those results, let me know. This is in a Google search. Um, well, I want you, I want you to search uh, backlink checker in the Google search. Back, oh. uh huh. Search that. And when you see, when you find the results of Backlink Checker, look for small SEO tools. It's like the second uh -huh. second link. Okay. And then when you get to, yeah, when you get to there, I want you to, in that, where you see an A, and it says enter URL, uh -huh. um, type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash lux.house. Generate, populate your search there, Catherine, for me, please. And uh, scroll down a little bit. And there are only 99 here. But look at what's, look at who's backlinked me. Lux.house, booking.com, booking.com, Airbnb, link a property web, whatever. But they're mostly booking.com if you scroll through the 99. Now, they have done this, I believe, 206,000 times. And I know I have a reason to believe that because I've caught them doing it with geo.vias 206,000 times. And they put my backlinks on the Department of Justice's site. They put it on multiple sites 206,000 times. But click on one of those booking.coms, anyone, anyone you see, booking.com or Airbnb, anyone. So when you click on a booking.com uh, link, there is Lux House. There is my, they have backlinked my domain. They have, because of that first website I brought you to, I believe they have reconfigured lux.house they have reconfigured it because you can't search it remember when i had you google it you can't find it like you can red.style or the others they have stolen it they have hijacked that domain yet it's still in my account and booking.com is the one that that's benefiting from it although i believe it's akamai because I we went through that other website and I showed you the who is lux.com and that uh -huh. that IP address Akamai has taken ownership of lux.house even though it's in my account and I'm going to renew it soon uh and booking.com is sharing the luxury of that SEO these people are stealing the search they're stealing the search of thousand, at least 2,000 of my domains. And I've caught them. 
This is catching them right here. And and we have to do something about this. This is a criminal event. Um, well, so you sent this to... I've sent it to the FBI, but they always say this. Have you spoken to GoDaddy? And I say, you guys, they're not a criminal law enforcement organization. This, I'm right. showing you what is going on here. And... And, but what needs, this case needs to go to Donuts because Donuts needs to see that Akamai has taken control of my domain, Lex.house. And I believe Akamai has taken control of multiple domains of mine. And we caught him. I showed you, I showed you yeah. how, how that IP redirected right to Akamai. I mean, I assume you've shown Darren this stuff, right? No, I have not shown Darren this. I just oh, caught yeah. this. I have just caught this. This is a big deal. And it is a big deal because these people are trying to run me out of money because they. The, this is the travel world trying to John DeLorean me. And the travel companies are, they're DDoS attacking me. They're, they're, Hijacking my hotels. Viajes, which they have domain shadowed my hotels. Viajes website. I have proof of it. I mean, I have two hundred thousand documents to prove it, and and uh, this is a big deal. The fact that my domains are being hijacked. Even though I'm paying for them, there's one in here from Kayak. Kayak.com. I'm gonna. It goes right to Kayak. I want people prosecuted, and the only way is to have the companies that are I'm doing business with to help me make complaints. So I wonder. I mean, I don't know. I know there's a department that handles like legal issues, but I don't know exactly. I think you'd have to go through our, the website and then go down to legal at the bottom of the page. There's got to be a section there that you can present, you know, click something and, and present this information to. You'd have to put it together so that they could review it easily because that was a lot of clicking. Okay, I want to show how I believe that these people are st stealing the search. I'm going to Google that page in my website. Oh, it changed. They know, they know what's going on now because this has been Hotels and Expedia. There's Booking. They're mixing it up now. The changes are being made, but Expedia... Shows up on the first. Get, ha, they're changing. After let's do flights. So that's an Expedia company. Expedia, 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 Kayak. They control the search. Not my website should be here, very first one. But it's an Expedia company. My website here, and the reason why is because they have reprogram the first two pages let's do uh, vacation rental and I know that there's my domain first because that page still exists they haven't they haven't put their code in that page they've put their codes in this page my website should show up here it doesn't exist because they've taken that page over the biggest page in my website pulls four billion. They're stealing it. Now, now let's look at another domain I own, Lux.house. Lux.house should pull right here. I own that domain. But Airbnb, Airbnb, which I think you know might be part of booking. There's Expedia. Uh, there's booking. There's Expedia. 
my website should show here. Now I'm going to show how I believe that this they've changed the DNS of this. Now, I mean, it, you can't search it because they've taken it over. Now watch this. If I Google uh, Lux.house, not Google, search it here in this backlink checker, you're going to find this interesting. There's a spider attached to it. So we're going to click on that Lux.house. And Lux.house, if we do a DNS trace, And we do a who is, and it's prolexic, Akamai. I can't believe this. This is where I allege that I allege that Expedia is rerouting my traffic, my VPN, and they're rerouting it. Chicago's Akamai office at 444 North Michigan Avenue, and they're doing it through Brazil of host one plus watch watch this watch this I'm gonna see what my NordVPN says today look at that there is my NordVPN this is host one plus this is a company that has their domain registered in Kirkland Washington this is a company that is owned by Digital Energy Plus. And Digital Energy Plus is also registered in Kirkland, Washington, but they're based in London. And Digital Energy Plus has been injecting travel asset Expedia script into my site. Now, watch this. I'm connected. Here's the NordVPN app in my computer. I'm connected right here to 878 in the United States. We're going to go to 878. 878, 144 miles from here. However, it's telling me I'm in Brazil over here. Something is wrong. They're rerouting me. Now watch this. Watch this. I want to do uh, a backlink checker on Lux.house, my domain. And we're going to... Be easiest to see. Um, okay, it worked. <laughs> okay, so we're going to load a backlink checker and we're going to find that Airbnb, booking.com, booking.com, home away, which is Expedia, booking.com, Airbnb, booking.com, booking.com. Let's click on a booking.com backlink of my domain, lex.house. It takes you right. To a backlink, they're using my, they buried, remember, remember, uh, this domain is, it's my domain, and if you type it in the URL, it goes straight there. It goes, oh yeah, this domain's for sale, right here at, at Afternack. But it's, that's not what they're stealing. They're stealing from me. The search, like for example, skin.shopping is my site, but if this is a page in it, my skin.shopping should show right here. Oh my God, this is just fucking awful. It is fucking awful. I know that I have skin.shopping forward slash vacation. This is the company that's getting my traffic. This is getting my traffic. They're getting paid. Look, they're stealing traffic. It is a priceless commodity. And they're fucking stealing it. And they're stealing my domains, all of them, by doing a, a DNS... Um, They've, they've retooled the DNS. Lux.house. We pulled it up here in the URL. It went right to Afternack, where I have it for sale. But here, Lux.house goes to Airbnb. Now, <laughs> uh, 
They are stealing traffic. They're stealing a priceless commodity from me. And it's going here. It's fucking going to booking.com. And, and this place in Korea, Lux House, watch. Okay, I that was the backlink. Now I'm going to Google, Google Lux House and look for that um, Korean place. I've seen it here many times. Maybe not today. That's not it. One second. Expedia. Oh, that Korean house has been taken down. I, that thing always popped up on the first page. Which is interesting. It's gone. So they are stealing the traffic. There it is. They gave me both Lux. So anyway, uh, that's not it. Huh. Yeah, it is. That was it. It's different. It's their freaking website instead of the ad. Kind of the same. Maybe it's not. Same colors. Kind of misleading. <laughs> so that's why these will never be trademarked because they're too basic. They're generic. <laughs> they're stealing traffic and they're doing it with these backlinks right here. Again, they, one last thing. They're stealing backlinks like this. Watch, I'm so sorry. Like this backlink, they put all these backlinks in. This was a 6,200 pages of backlinks. There was 206,000. You click on here, and there was my domain. And it, and you can program these. They can put like, watch, on this is the state of uh, New York, FBI.gov. And you click on it. It takes you right to the app. They're stealing traffic off of websites, redirecting to, for example, here, booking.com. This is illegal. It's fucking illegal. And they're doing this to every one of my domains. Okay. So I want to do a backlink checker on other domains that I have that these hackers have attached backlinks to. And they have attached backlinks to all of my domains, but I want to show you the beneficiary of the backlinks. We're going to backlink, do a backlink checker on kayak.viajes. And here are the, here's the beneficiary of kayak.viajes. Kayak.es magazine. First link. It's kayak. We're going to do second link. Kayak magazine. Kayak. Third link. Kayak magazine. They have backlinked my domain. Kayak.vias. The guy right here from Tom Parker. Tom Parker. Kayak. Kayak IT executive. He wrote, writes me this email. I understand that you've registered kayak.vs instead of 
my my website gets taken out by Chris Ishmael. I allege that the, it's his hacker, I allege. But Chris Ishmael takes out my kayak.viajes and now kayak.viajes has backlinks pointed here. Pinterest and Kayak Magazine. Now, where do these go? They're all travel sites. <laughs> They're on Pinterest sites, but the first links, the first links are Kayak Magazine. So they're benefiting from backlinking my domain. It's just awful. Kayak.viajes was my site that was selling these trolling motor mounts right here. And I also had access to a custom tra trolling or custom kayak trailers. Now, I sold this design out of Florida because it's a lot of fun to kayak with a trolling motor. And here's how they work. Now, this was on my website, kayak.viajes. This is what I was selling until Chris Ishmael and Ross Weber came into my life and destroyed this site. Ross Weber is a former kayak executive. This is how they work. This was my site. Welcome to uh, kayak.viajes. This is Sean Chalfin again. We are kayaking Lake Fresca today. Fish kayaking. Uh, for bass that are getting ready to spawn here pretty soon. We're in, let's see here, we're in 16 feet of water. Marking very little fish along the shoreline right here. Uh, you can see that this topography kind of just drops straight off here and we're close to shore. Not really, uh, we're just getting started here. So, if you notice the uh, custom trolling motor mount, Hey, I wanted to talk about uh, Kayak Travel League. For so, this was my website. It had nothing to do with flights or hotels, whatever. There is a dot hotels. There is a dot hotel. There's a new GTLD called dot vacations. There's a dot flights. There's a dot travel in English. Just because Tom Parker was asleep at the wheel, he was Tom Parker, the guy that sent me threatening letters. He, his friend Ross Weber and Chris Ishmael, destroyed my site, and now I've got this. It's awful what they're doing. This guy right here, Tom Parker, this company he works for is backlinking my domain. So let's go here and find out another domain they're backlinking. Now I shouldn't have any do these backlinks because the site isn't up, but check it out. This is one of my domains. One of my big ones. Shutterstock. Why is Logo.Digital on Shutterstock? I, I don't have a website. I never put these backlinks there. They're, they have found a way to, to domain shadow the credibility of Logo.Digital and then forward it to these affiliate companies. And they're making money off of domains that I have cash parked that I should be making the domains. I should be making the money off of this, but instead they're sending my traffic to Shutterstock and they're getting the commission. Let's do another one. Let's do, let's do, let's see if they backlink this, which they have. 
Traveler.insure. All over the place. And they backed it to mostly Chubb. They're backlinking all of my domains. They're deep sixing them. And the fact that we've seen Lux dot house go right to Acme and booking.com and Airbnb is the, mostly the primary beneficiary of that. There this is enough probable cause. They have found a way to use the domain, even though it's in my account where I should be getting this type of crap traffic, but it's not. It's being redirected to other places. Backlinked to booking.com mostly. It's bullshit. I'm telling you, man. This is domain shadowing at its best, and they have hijacked thousands of my domains. I want to uh, just go over these last pieces of uh, documents that I think should implicate who I am talking about here. But this GPS coordinate in Chicago, which is 444 North Michigan Avenue, uh, Akamai is located here. And uh, they're routing me to here. And these are the GPS coordinates that were in my site. And now they're hiding them that you can't find these that look like that. And Digital Energy Tech, located in London, which I believe is possibly somehow connected to Expedia, uh, they're installing the, the exploit kits. A, travel assets, B, travel assets, C, travel assets. And I just wanna play a couple things here. Uh, to now this segment uh, is a 19 minute video I shot before the hackers I allege started to figure out that I was on to them finally and so I'm there are some really key points in this 19 minute video that I would like to show that have completely changed now. So here is the before and the after. So uh, we're just going to hit on a few things. Um, one, I was doing a the Chinese hacker, but this is Expedia's site. And here you can see the, the, uh, GPS coordinates, latitude, longitude for digital engineering tech. So this is uh, I. This company is registered their domain in the Kirkland area, and this was registered many times as somebody who was on my website right after I called Bob Zelik. So here we go, I'm, and this has no volume to it. So <clears throat> this is. I just want to point out these coordinates that you can no longer find specifically written like this on the Expedia or my site, by the way. And here is one of the IP addresses that's been hacking me. And this is my IP address. And I allege that Expedia has stolen that VPN from me or at least made it look like I'm the one attacking my servers. And this is that Acme location that we just covered in Chicago. So that is just a great find before it was taken away. So let's, now this is pretty much when I realized, the, right, check this out. Here you see it. And now you don't. It's start, They're starting to do this with everything now that I've found them. So the entire NordVPN bank of IP addresses, including other IP addresses, they're 
This is called a SVG file, and they are now hiding all of that's the beginning part of the uh, that was the longitude. That is the latitude. So this is how they're coding it now that I found it. So I want to go over to here. There we go. Before it was taken away, I found it. Okay. With a latitude. The, that is what I'm, that's just one piece of evidence I have, but I have their scripts too. But what's really, what I really want to show right here is this NordVPN redirect where they completely took over my NordVPN. And uh, now let's move into this IP address 181.25.215.110. So watch what they're doing here. They are. I just have to start over. Now, so this is my IP address that I'm using on the Nord VPN network. Now, uh, I want to go over a couple things here because this is a Nord VPN IP address that I use. And it happens to be hosted at Host One Plus in Brazil. We've already covered, I'm not in Brazil right now. So I want you to see, this is on video that I took, oh, probably on the, uh, I don't know, the 15th of July, 2018. And I just want to go over this right here. Here is, again, I would like to go back and hit this refresh button right here. Uh, and it's NordVPN, by the way, NordVPN. And they're going to tell me your IP address is 181-215-110.250. That's your IP address. Now, it also says I'm in Brazil. However, down here again, I'm connected in the United States. But still, and I've reconnected now to a different server. But what they're doing is they have reprogrammed my NordVPN. We're going to hit refresh again. Oh, now, I, this is Quadranet. Interesting. Oh, my gosh, that's interesting. Okay. So now you see they're sending me through the Quadranet servers. Now, that VPN is in the Expedia site. Now, and they're directing me to those coordinates. So here is what I want to show you. Uh, there was my VPN, 181, and Digital Energy Technologies is connected to it. It's Digital Energy Tech. That was my IP. And then here it is again, Digital Energy, Digital Energy Tech. Now, I called Bob Zelik. On the 17th and 28th of May. And I said, why are you injecting your toolkits in my site? Instead, on, on the 17th, on, instead of him calling me back, I get more digital energy tech in my site. Not only that, I have their hacker right here. That's that's just one of his IP addresses. His IP address starts with 85, by the way. Uh, then Cogent, the next day, on the 18th. Now, Cogent, let's just see real fast here, while we're online, while we're still here, let's just, let's just, um, while we're here for evidence reasons, uh, here, one second, this is what I'm going to do. Um, while we're here, Let's just see what Cogent is up to today. We're going to ping GoDaddy because they're intercepting my traffic to GoDaddy because they want to know what I'm doing. But it has been, oh, that's because my, my NordVPN is off. <laughs> I have plenty of evidence, by the way, of Cogent intercepting my data. We'll terminate that. I'm not turning my Nord on. 
because they're redirecting my Nord. But I got many videos of the cogent being intercepting me. So again, data camp, this IP that starts 185, this is why I called Bob Zelik. Why is data camp in my site? And I have screenshots of data camp being in the hotels.com site. Now, or hotels.vihes, by the way. So, but check this out, wrapping up here. You'll, I want you to notice some of the changes going on here. And by the way, this is my skin.shopping. Skin.shopping is my site. These are the logs in my site. And there's digital energy technology out of Chicago, the Akamai headquarters or uh, branch there. They moved down the street from Kayak and Booking Group in Cambridge, Massachusetts. But this is probable cause. This is digital energy tech in my site. Now, here is when I called Bob Zelik the first time, and I said, they're the, they're the coordinates. That's my IP. Now, it turned out it was a Nord VPN, and they're hijacking my VPN. Now, these are the who is, by the way, for everybody. You don't need those. Um, and But the one I want to look for is right here, Digital Energy Tech. Negative 87 and 41. That is where they're routing me to. And from there, they send me to Quadranet. These are the toolkits, the travel asset toolkits. I have the travel asset toolkits injected into my site. It's very important that this is well understood they're redirecting the nord vpn and nord vpn knows all about it this is the ip address they're using it's my ip and it's registered at this moment to digital energy technologies but that's my ip so they're attacking my servers and making it look like i'm the one that is attacking me i allege it's genius. It's absolutely genius of what they're doing because it covers their tracks. And, and we need to find out this because this is in my site and their site. It's a ping. It's a pixel. Uh, they're using it as an opt-out uh, feature, but really it's a pixel that, it's, it's a pixel that uh, communicates with other uh, JPEGs in other websites so they're constantly pinging each other and we need to find out who owns that and this is the same place where Tiki.com is located Ross Weber so I have to put this in there it's such a big deal NordVPN was shocked when I showed him this